Being Garments Explained. Let's do it! Okay guys, I'm going to get right to it. So I already have part one out there and I'm going to link that in the description box as well as all of the supplies you're going to need to do this project. So everybody keeps asking me about fitting and how do I do it? Well, normally I do it uh, before I actually cut the garment. I usually do a lot of the changes on the pattern itself, but in this video so that you can see visually the changes on the dress form and possibly myself, I'm going to show you by cutting a generic size and making those adjustments in front of you. So I'm going to be working with my five-piece sloper set which is right here. It's on my website. I have it in sizes. This is my best-selling sloper and pattern on both Etsy and my website. It has all the diagrams for even as a fashion design student, so you know where dart manipulation is and explains it. So it's a great sloper for home sewers, fashion designers, or enthusiasts. It has a front one dart bodice. It has a back two dart bodice. It has the back and front two dart skirt and it has the generic straight sleeve. This is my measurement chart and these are my basic measurements so I'm kind of in between the 8 and 10 and so I decided to cut the 10 generically and then just pull it in as needed so that's what I did. And here is the muslin I cut and sewed it completely together. I put very important lines in like the bust level in the contrasting color. You can also do that on the hip if you'd like. I did it on the sleeve to see the center of the sleeve and to see the elbow point on the sleeve as well as on the back uh, straight across. I also sew this properly and you have to be very precise when you cut it because fitting and accurately changing your pattern has to be just perfect, guys. So I put all the darts in, and another little note to note is that all my darts either always are pressed towards the center back or towards the center front. I have a front opening so that I can put this on the dress form and myself, let's get on the dress form. pin just right on the center front where it's supposed to be right now and then we'll talk about the changes. The first thing I want you to notice is the very first thing is we're going to be looking at horizontal lines first and then we're going to address all the vertical issues and vertical lines second. The first thing I want you to see, if you saw the first video, understand is where is the apex? Where is the bust point on the person or the dress form? And on this, it is way over here. So you can see that the level of the um, bust level is way down. And I'm also very short waisted. If you can see here, this is the waistline on the actual dress form. And it is definitely much lower on here. So the right thing to do first is to get that apex or to get the bust level in the right spot. So in order to do that, I also noticed here on my neckline that it is way too low. It is not above the neck like it should be. So it's lagging. It's also larger on the shoulder as well as, well as the armhole. That's a whole nother story. So to raise that level up first, I'm gonna take it up here at the shoulder. I'm only going to do one side of the body, guys, because that's the way you do it on a dress form. But you would normally do it on both sides if you're going to be doing it on yourself. So I'm going to just put it here and put and pin up till I get that bust level to the right spot touching the apex. So I'm going to go ahead and pin that right now. Okay, so we have it pretty close to the bust level, but I want to point out something extremely important. 
Once you change one seam on a garment, you are then also changing other seams. So I want people to understand that you can't just take up the shoulder and leave the sleeve as is. I know that the sleeve is way too big for me as well, as far as the bicep and even the elbow level. So I'm okay taking it off the actual sleeve itself as well. But if you are not, if you need a bigger sleeve, you have to adjust that sleeve accordingly to fit into that seam, if that makes sense. So I'm gonna go ahead and take that down, all the way down. Okay, so I raised that and now the bust point is right here. I'm only gonna do it in pencil because it's gonna need another change. Um, I'm actually lower from, you would wanna measure from the high point shoulder to the bust to get your actual bust level. Um, the proper bust level. Mine's actually a little lower on me itself. So I'm leaving that is. All right. Also note, guys, if I'm taking it up here, I'm also raising the armhole. Keep that in mind um, if it's, it's going to be too tight or too loose for you. All right. The next thing we're going to look at, we saw that, is where the waist is. So the waist is here on my actual um, dress form and the waist over here is quite a bit lower. I'm gonna pull up the entire waist only from the bodice, not the skirt, and pull it up to that level, just like that. And I'm gonna pin that down. Okay, the neckline is in the right spot, the bust level's in the right spot, the waist is in the right spot, and the hip level is good. So now let's address the width of this garment. We can see that it is pretty broad here. It is past the armhole on the actual dress form itself. It is pretty full all throughout this. So it is okay to pull a little bit from the center front to bring it in. And then we'll also work on the side seam. So I'm going to start taking from the center front just a little bit all the way down. Another thing to note before you start taking it all the way down that you have to make it an equal distance all the way down because this is a straight seam. It is not a curved seam and because usually we don't have a seam in the center front. So if it, it wants to curve, if you need it on your bust, then you really have to take less and then adjust it on the side, if that makes sense. So because I, need, I don't need so much of this at all, I'm gonna go ahead and take equal amounts all the way down the center front all the way down this dress to the skirt. By doing that, I now have the apex in the right spot because I pulled it in from the center and the dart is now falling right underneath the apex in the right spot, so that's good. I still have too much room here on the side of this dress and also the hip curve is in the wrong spot because I've raised it, so I'm gonna get rid of that bump there. Again, if I'm taking it on the side seam, I'm going to have to go all the way up that sleeve. I know that this sleeve is way too big for me, so that's gonna be okay. Also note, guys, that this is a straight seam. This is not a curved seam. You can make your sloper pattern with a curved seam if you want to make it a little bit more fitted. I'm making it as generic as possible because this is supposed to be a block pattern for you to adjust and create new designs. It is not supposed to be a design itself, if that makes sense. So let me continue taking some out here on the side and also keeping enough space to be able to lift this sleeve. All right, let me show you that. I feel like I'm gonna take a little bit off the back seam as well. It has to be straight because now the neckline in the back is too high. So if you see, this is where the actual neckline is on the back. So in order to have that released, I'm gonna go ahead and clip this and release that. And when I release that, it relaxes that and I can very easily take out a little bit more off of this center back. Why am I doing that? Because 
it is definitely too wide here across the back as well as the front. So this armhole will most likely have to be changed. I'm going to dot where the arm, where the neckline is. And so we're going to start some of the marking process. This is where the shoulder should be. And this is where the armhole should be. I'm just going to put it in pencil right now because I'm actually going to try it on. So I'm going to fix the back as well. And in order to fix that properly, like I said, this is a straight seam. So I'm going to have to take it back here as well. Guys, you have to think of it like a pattern maker. You have to think about it like the patterns themselves. If it's a straight line, it's a straight line. If it's a curved line, it's a curved line. So I can't just take in arbitrarily in one position and not having it relate to another part of the garment itself, if that makes sense. From then you start marking everything by putting pencil lines on both sides of the pin like this. Marking where the armhole should be, where the ridge of your dress form is, just like the ridge of where your sleeve would be, just to have pencil marks there. Okay guys, I'm going to pin the other side of this dress together and I'm going to try it on right next. And I am a bleeder. Pins, pins, pins. Alright guys, I have it on and it, you want to put the safety pins in the center, front and most other areas if you plan to try this on yourself because it can be very tasking otherwise. So I have it on right now and I, the first thing I want to make sure is that my apex is in the right spot. So I'm going to mark where my apex is and which is right there, meaning I probably have to move this dart over just slightly or pull it in a little bit further here at the center front to get the dart in the right spot. But as you can see, I was able to take in a little bit on the sleeve and it did not affect it because I'm thinner there and a little off here because I couldn't get it right on myself. But it is on the waist where it should be. It is on the shoulder where it should be. And the skirt is fitting nicely now as well as the front. Um, as you can see here, you can see where that the armhole is definitely has to come in on the back as well as the front. So just to give you basic alterations properly done like a professional with a professional pattern so you can understand the correct way of translating an actual alteration to an actual pattern that will exist. If you want me to have part three where I take this apart and show you how I actually change the pattern, please put in the comments that you want to see that and we can get that out to you soon. But all right guys, get your five piece sloper set, make your toile, learn how to fit and start designing. I'll see you next time.